Undefeated 122 pounder Tion Kennedy. We're about 10 days away from. Uh, I mean, I know you guys say every fight's the biggest fight of your career, but this so far on paper looks to be the biggest fight of your career, taking out Jorge Diaz on a big show in Atlantic City. Uh, we're 10 days away. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm ready to fight right now if I could. This has been a fight, I guess, people in the media have been talking about you uh, being from Philadelphia, him being from just up the road in New Brunswick, 45 minutes away. You guys basically campaigning in the same weight class. Uh, people have been talking about this fight happening. Surprise it's happening so soon? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, it is what it is. You, you got to fight somebody uh, with a good record sometimes, somebody good. Have you known about him uh, for the past couple of years? Or? Uh, I just heard about him as soon as um, my manager said something about fighting. Oh, yeah, the, uh, my first time hearing about him. And have you have you seen him since? You seen any tape? Uh, or? I've seen one one fight. That's about it. What's he bring to the table? Uh, he, he a nice fighter. He look kind of slick. I mean, punches and bunches sometimes. He he's a okay fighter. Do, do you feel that this is a fight? Um, this is a fight that's going to springboard you to the next level with a win. Yeah, yeah, of course. There, there were there were some internet reports that you were on a short list, maybe to fight Lopez and you know fights like that. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what, do you think? Did you feel that you're ready for that? Uh, those type of fights at this time, or do you maybe you need a fight with an undefeated guy uh, now um, to maybe better, you know gain at least more confidence and be more ready for a fight like that? Well, actually, I, I think I'm ready, but you know what I mean, never. Uh, bad to uh, take more fights and stuff like that um, and get more experience. This is going to be on, uh, on the undercard off TV of a big HBO card. Yeah. I guess all the uh, you know the HBO executives will be there. and you know, There will be some other featherweights on the card, Gamboa on the card, uh, mm -hmm. Mikey Garcia, all the brass at top rank. You feel this is an opportunity not only you know for yourself but to show uh, some of these, quote, suits that you know, you're know you you're ready for the big time? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to show them what, what I'm about when I, I hit the ring. They're going to know my name. You, you've uh, shown a lot of versatility over your, your last five or six fights. You've gotten a lot of, early in your career, you were known as a, more of a technical fighter, hence the nickname Technician. Four or five fights, you, you, you were brawling a little bit. Your last fight, you got back to um, to, to, to boxing more. Are we going to see a little combination of everything on yeah, there? Yeah, I'm going to mix it up, see a little brawl, see a little uh, boxing. You, you're going to see a lot this fight. Um, anything you want to say in closing? Uh, no, just, uh, I want to thank all my fans all you for coming to my fight, support me, and uh, make sure you come to this fight. We'll see you on March 26th in Atlantic City, and best of luck. All right, thank you. Thanks.